Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Planescape Torment. We've given uh, Nestor back his fork and now he's pissed off, so... Now we can uh, get back to what we were doing before, which was... Not a whole lot, to be honest. Walking around, doing some stuff, you know, nothing. Uh, might as well sell some more things. We've got a lot of money. We haven't even buy a tattoo. Uh, I'm gone. We've got a lot of money, like 3,000 coppers or something? Heaps. So uh, we're starting to do a bit, bit more things now. Uh, we're not in the uh... Um... Guy, he... Junk. Um... I'm gonna sell the obsidian earring. Anna... Uh. Let's go! Out! Oh, okay. Act. Did you see that? They attacking me more because I attacked the thieves in the valley. Alley haven. Anything I can think of. Um. I find a way to help Ingress. The wall. I see. Talk to Ma. Ma is here, isn't he? Then... Ah. I cry of Essan. I've seen to it that Essan's name has been remembered. A lies carved upon the black stone one. Updated moment. my journal. Now there's a brief whisper in the air and the man's eyes dry. One of the tears that ran on his cheek simply vanishes. And then Essan is served. I'll tell my fellow criers of the stone that you have bribed. Of my gratitude. Nothing. Um. Pressing him. I remember where that guy is. The guy who gave me the bloody box. Um. All this talking coming from. Stop it. Right. Done. They're the guys that robbed the pin. Greetings. One of them, no ones who robbed the monk in the hive, took his prayer beads. Some sod with lion scrawl over his face. Claim he could have put all this all in the dead, but let us bob him blind. Bob him? The man gives a slow, gives a slow toothless smile. Never even heard of such a sod. I haven't. Lie. That is interesting. The rest of this Zordo is looking for you. The brothers of Arid Aggie seem to know you quite well. The man's sneer fades. What are you on about? What brothers? The sod was alone, he was. The member of religious order, you fool. That necklace you stole is their most holy relic. If it isn't returned, the rest of his order will come looking for you. They don't have any reservations about killing thieves. Man's eyes widen. Eh, now we will just keep in the relic for him. He reaches into the fold of his robe and pulls forth the necklace. He hands carefully to you. Here it is. No harm done, eh? Hope this is enough to call the rest of the order. Perhaps a donation to their causes in order as well. It might help smooth things over and ward off any curses that might come Updated your way. My journal. Purses, the man makes a semicircle over his heart. Hey, well now, I wouldn't want any of that. He reaches into a purse at his belt and hands over several copper coins. Take it with me, blessing, governor. Tell him no harm was meant. Yeah. Free she was talking about? Or the other guy? Oh no, that was the... Starving... Old... Greetings, and greetings. Oh. 
going to the tattoos. I'm gone. Oh, Dude, accuracy. Restless dead. Yes. Dreams of Isanon. Raise the angel. Bloodletting. On the damage of axe. Ring. Greater chance of getting memories of aiding his mates. Buy that. Buy this. The sun and get more spots for that or what? Oh well. Seems of a sun and. Lord, you're gonna have all these tattoos. Uh, well, you're gonna have three, three at once. Done. Really nice. Right now, loud. Sticky you. Let's stick <laughs> your shit. There, it run. Oof. Damn it! Damn it! Gotcha. Oh, charm. Um. I don't know. There's portals all over the fucking place. Um. Jeez, I didn't even know there were bugs there. Run! Where do you get out? What? Your pathfinding so bad, dude. All right. Oh, I'm fine. I need to. I just realised I needed to go there. Go to the, the, the bar. My bad. I needed to sleep anyway. Um. All right. Let's go in and out. We have to fight those guys again, but that's okay. Done. Maybe they forgot about us. I must reset after a little bit. There's a cheap eye. See a thin man with stained clothes, a hooked nose, and two stubby horns jutting from. And he's stumbling about and muttering to himself. He thinks of Brian, vomit, and cheap wine. Craddock needs you back at the marketplace. Craddock? Hands eyes widen. Ah, Craddock, me Jenry's boss. Well, you can tell him this. He can pike off. And that he's a filthy dog who curves the lowest sort and realizes not a working for him anymore. He jabs you with his finger. Tell him that. I'll tell him from a distance. Alright, we're going to help our friend Ingress. By talking to the man, we were talking about planes. Met a woman named Ingress with very bad teeth. She said she'd come through a portal from somewhere that was opened by a tune come near to cross trees. Can you get her home? He pauses briefly, thinking, I know the portal of which you speak, though I have not travelled these 30 years gone. I'll take her home, Seeker. Go tell her to await my arrival, then meet me back here, and I'll tell you if I was successful. Updated my journal. Lovely. I'm gone. And I get a moment of peace here. Damn. Trap him. Trap him. Yeah. Good. I'm going. Crap. I'm not gonna level up. I don't know if I should leave these quests for like later or now, but these quests are pretty easy to do. Leads me to think that do these. I don't know. I feel like you can't really screw the game up. Play pretty badly and still uh, fight well. Greetings! Found someone who can take you back home. 
I want to go. I want to leave this place. His name is Kendry, and he should be along shortly to help you. Trust him, all right? Ingra says nothing. Merely nods quietly, her teeth chattering inside her mouth. I'll go back and meet Kendry at the Smolding Corpse Bar. Make sure everything turned out all right. Be I'll strong, Ingra. Alright. And uh just go back and see what happened. Let's go. I'm gone. Wait till Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Special talents again. Die. I'm gone. Uh yeah. Things. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if it was. All right. Updated my journal. Oh shit! If woman wanted you to have these, he says, holding out his hand. She wanted to express her things, even out of the balance book, and be done with the damn things. In the palm of his hand are Ingress dancing teeth. Who deposits them into your hand? Enjoy them, Seeker. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, come on. Hey. Damn it, teeth. You can't shake the demons to ivory bugs. You get the feeling that they're looking at you expectantly, waiting some command. I want you to do piercing damage. Okay. All right. So what else do we have? Two freak versus bench. I don't know where Mar is. Ah. Asco. In the strange box. Person named Kuatra. Ah said. I don't remember where he is, that's the thing. Um it's been a while since I played. Back. Happy joy. Get him. Rock sings true. Done. Looks like my skills have increased. Oh I level up, nice. Alright. One fist. Saving throws have been improved. Fighting skills. Nice. I want you to become a magical weapon. Rushing damage. Weapon. Come on inside! Come see the burning man! He's on the spit! You'll love it! You sir, come on in! Cool. Weapon. Um Now what are we forgetting? Sorry everyone. Uh, he probably oh yeah, his necklace. Help Seb Tire get her revenge. Enter death. Three. I think I only killed two of them. Maybe another one. Seeing three women. I mean, over that, or they, they might respawn. Oh, I don't know. Damn it. Oh. I guess Mort does crushing damage now. That big bud is. Like... Yeah. Huh? Where am I? Alright. Why? Okay. Right. I'm gone. Fucking wild. Be another one here. Like, go into that boss thing and fuck them up. I don't know. The door. 
I do about that one? I could light it up. Nice. Um, aggressive after me. I won't fight them. How about that? Done. Are we now? I don't remember where this guy is. Ah. Hey, Ma. Um. I remember. I vaguely remember talking to someone and then they ran off. I remember if that was him or not. What junk food there? Yeah. I mean, the value of I'm selling is going down. No, oh, there's this guy. Raskin or whatever. Raskin. Users everywhere, congratulations on breaking the curse of Marauder's box. I must admit to being a bit skeptical that an ugly Berg such as you could accomplish such a thing. Mind you, I still think you're uglier than a Baku's ass, but I've got respect for what you've done. Come share a drink with me so you can tell me how you did it. I'll gladly share a tank or two. After a few tankards, a few songs, a few jokes, you've come to like Braskin immensely. In fact, the moment you seem to like everyone, soon Braskin falls to the floor in a drunken stupor. He realizes it's time to go. Oh, my aching head. I don't think I'll ever recover. Oh, dear. All right. Right up dead. It. Done. Where yeah, this guy is. Oh. I do not, I can't for the life of me remember where he is. Where is he? I'm gone. Look. Immediately hostile. Maybe he's here. Oh. Do you see that? Crap. Rock sings true. Like a truck now. I'm flying. One addresses you. I didn't believe. Oh, crap. Um. Oh, I fucked up. All right. Screwed up. I mustn't have taken it. I have that right. Oh no! Did I sell it accidentally? Shit. Might have sold it. An accident. Um. Anything I can think of, I might have sold it. Done. Over that, or it's on or in front of him. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm aware I'm doing circles. Kind of what I what happened. I'm gone. They blues. Reading. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. I must have sold it accidentally. My bad. Sold it to no, I must have. Uh, body stiletto. Pretty sanctum. That to him? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Oh, he's got bloody things. I didn't sell it. I don't know where the hell it is then. Oh, blur. Fuck. That's cool. I know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if, like it, I it dropped it on the ground because my inventory was full, and then it's. It, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I may have lost it forever. Oh well, not the end of the world. I'm gone. Fuck you. Every time I come in area, screw me up. Did I just kill those dudes? Why are they back? Rock sings true. Or did like hitting everything. He is absolutely destroying. Help bar? Nope. 
Um. Okay, well. Um, talk to Mar about the box. Big wins, curse of Eilish. Um. Oh. D. Like, trying to think of where Mar could be. Like, I don't know. Um. Another thing here too. The arrow thing. I can't remember if I. It smelled the reek of dung and rotting meat on this man, even from afar. Though obviously weak and decrepit, his long, thin fingers and sunken eyes give him a sinister look as he scuttles through the garbage around him. The way he drools and rolls his eyes makes you wonder if he's mad. He tries to focus on you, but his gaze wanders. His eyes are set deeply into his hollow sockets, and his skin is terribly pale and diseased, covered with rashes and yellowed patches that look ready to peel from his body at any moment. Stench emanating from him is terrible. As you open your mouth to speak, he licks his lips and swallows. You deader. What'd you say? Yo, he licks his lips again, and his long, spindly fingers pick at his skin and st as he stares at you. Yo, deader. He glances to your left, and his eyes dart back to you. Dead, dead, hungry. He reaches out to touch you, licking his sca scabrous lips. Oh, let him touch you. Fingers scrabble spider-like on your arm as if, as if looking for a piece to tear off. He licks his lips again and you watch yellowish drool. Raspy moan, his fingers suddenly dig into in on your arm and pull off a bit. Step back. Watch and feel your stomach churn as he takes a bit of flesh and shoves it into his mouth. He chews a slow, then swallows. You dead? No, but I'm not I'm not dead. Taste dead. Next scratches himself beneath his robe and you suddenly notice he has a finger hanging from his neck on a cord. Looks like there's a ring on it. Still hungry. That finger bone. Looks down. His plague ridden features twist. Ghastly snaggle to parody of a grin. Back. He looks ready to chew on it. Stop him. Grab his hand and he starts flailing against you. As he does, he bites a large chunk out of your arm and you're forced to let go. Let him go. Not because of the pain, but because you might snap him into pain to wrestle. Use on a chunk of your flesh for a moment, then look back at the finger bone. Stop him from eating the finger bone. I can't really that. Okay. Quick save, because I'm pretty sure if you go in here, you can't go back out. <laughs> I can my uh I'm gone. Suspicions were confirmed. I do remember getting trapped in here. Um I'm gonna I am looking up where Mar is because I it's bothering me quite a bit. Ah, I see, okay. That in a minute. Hey, yeah, great. All right. Ooh. Tall and lanky, this pale, grim looking man exudes authority despite his gangly and somewhat awkward frame. A good portion of his left ear is missing. What little that's left is a ragged mess of scar tissue. The air was bitten off. The air? The ear was bitten off rather than cut. His narrow, shifting eyes, almost mere slits, look clever and dangerous. Greetings. He spits out a reply. I don't know you, Burke. He glares at you. What do you want? Answer quick before I call in some men to make quick work of you. Who are you? He scoffs and looks at you incredulously. Burke, who I am, is the second thing you should have known before you stomped your shivved up corpse thing self in here. First thing. That I hate visitors and I loathe strangers. You're both. He sneers and taps his finger to his temple. Figure the rest out on your own. Calm down. I don't mean any harm. Oh, you don't say. Well, that makes it all piking better then, don't it? Now, I'm going to ask you one more time before your ass hits the street, possibly in several pieces. What do you want? Add some questions. You're an asshole. <laughs> no one likes you. Alright, so let's go. 
back out here. I'm gone. Hmm. There he is. No one can bloody find him. Mars eyes take on a wild look as he sees you approaching. In a high screeching voice, he asks, What are you doing back here? Don't come back till you deliver the box. Got rid of the box. It does me heart good to hear that. Before he kills me for the horrible deed of tricking you into taking that box, please let me try and explain. I'm listening. Long and short of it be that the box has been around long that as long as anyone can remember. Chant is some folks were fighting, and when they were done, a huge demon was imprisoned inside the box. Other folks say an evil wizard made it just for seeing others suffer. No one rightly knows what the truth behind the box be, but the owner of the box will die should it be open. Why didn't the owner just put the box where no one could find it? Aye, it seems it should have been as simple as that, but who among us could live with a death sentence lingering over their head? Twould drive any sane man over the edge, having to worry about the whereabouts of that damn little box at all times. Why me? First, I haven't seen you around here before. These, I needed a clueless Burke such as yourself to accept the box and become the new owner. Everyone around here knows not to take the box, not for any price. Secondly, if you didn't examine the box when you had it, you would have noticed that whatever magics were placed on it were weakening. Me being the current owner and all, you can see as I needed to pass it on right quickly. Besides, if anyone looked ready to pass on the next realm, it was ye. Want to talk about passing on to the next realm? Keep talking or you'll find out about it. Obviously, I picked a card with no small means. Surely this has been a, but a minor convenience to one such as you. I offer this weapon and some jink to line your purse as a reward for your troubles. It's all I own, and coincidentally, it was what that rat Kuatra used to get me to take possession of the box. Give me my reward and then leave Updated me. My journal. Um, yeah, gonna be a lot, but that's about it. Got ready to go. Done. Uh, rag pick a square. Places to go in. Okay. Oh god, cranium rats. Yeah, I was thinking I was getting rat charms. Not bad. Done. Okay, so I find another shitty port. Hey, Garum. But what? Who? I really don't have time to talk to you. See, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to complete my spell about the key component. Maybe I can help. Pauses for a second. I guess it couldn't hurt. I'm in need of a ruby to complete my spell. It must be of exceptional quality, not like the junk they sell at the marketplace. Find one, bring it back to me, and I shall make Updated it worth your while. Ruby. I'm gone. Um. Ow. Damn. Dead now. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but dead. So the sanctum. I don't need that anymore. Meshes. Eat it then. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm not sure if that was a good thing to do, honestly. Oh, no! My game crashed. So it's a good thing I quick saved. <laughs> um, I'll end it here then. So thanks for watching. Uh, join us next time where hopefully the game won't crash again. And, uh, yeah, we'll get into Brag Picker Square. See you guys. <laughs>